I'm going to show you guys how to collect seeds from hardy hibiscus and mallow plants. So this is what the bloom looks like. It's really pretty. So as soon as this blooms, um, it, it stays for maybe two or three days and then it turns into that, which you can see. And then when those fall off, that's a seed pod behind there. See that? So this isn't ready to pick yet. I have a lot of seed pods on this one, but I'll show you the difference between a seed pod and a dud. That's a seed pod, you can tell, because it's big, it's like 3D, and it's going to be like full of seeds in there. The duds are, let's see if I can find another one. The duds don't really have anything to them. They're, they look almost the same, but they're significantly smaller than that pod. Like this one's got seeds in it. You can open that up. That's a seed in there. Be really careful because we do get um, American dagger moth caterpillars on here that will sting you if touched. See? Oh, there he is. There's one right there sneaking. And they are not so friendly when you have your hand in there moving around looking for seeds. So just keep that in mind when you do go through this plant where gloves or long sleeves. Let's see if I can find another one. I just had a bunch. Okay. Here's one on the ground. That's a dud. That does not contain seeds whatsoever. So the little ones, you can throw away. The big ones, you leave on the pod. See, there's, a, there's another seed pod. Those are going to ripen within the next few weeks. Clip them off um, into a bucket, because you'll have a lot and then um, let them dry out on a paper plate, crack them open, and then um, shake them in a bucket with a lid, and then um, you're good to go.